Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before you. It's Tuesday, September the 3rd. One of the struggles I've been thinking about that followers of Jesus are uh, constantly having to face is uh, how, how do we respond to the brokenness that we see in this world really everywhere everywhere that we look and if we made the the question or the issue personal uh, I think it would come out something like this how am I going to respond to the brokenness that I see uh, in the world around me and in the interactions that I have with people that are around me and that's uh, that's becoming increasingly difficult in a social media saturated world like the one we live in today. Uh, listen to the Apostle Paul's uh, strategy <clears throat> for that, and and you can you can find this in Second Corinthians chapter ten. He wrote, "For though we walk in the flesh, we're not waging war according to the flesh." For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God. Take every thought captive to obey Christ. Being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. For even if I boast a little too much, and this is what he says later on in that same passage, even if I boast a little too much of our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for destroying you, I will not be ashamed. So I, I came across that passage in my reading here uh, a day or two ago, and uh, I, I was thinking about it. And here are the thoughts I had. Just because I am still in the world doesn't mean that I get a pass to act like the world. I, that's I, I, we just we don't we don't respond in the same way that the world responds. You don't get a pass. Uh, the second thought I had was that if my response to the brokenness in the world if I if I when I listen to it or I look at it if it sounds like the world or if it looks like the world's response uh, to what they don't agree with it may be time it may be time for me to take stock in my tactics uh, now I know what some people will say well it, it's just it's just fair if they if they treat believers like this, or they respond to believers like this, or uh, that it's just fair for us to be able to do the very same thing. Well, um, no, uh, that's just, that's not, that's not the way of Jesus. A third thought I had is that, is that however, however you are growing in your faith in Jesus, how about try using that with uh, the people that you interact with who may not be where you are spiritually may not believe the same things you do uh, and the, uh, the phrase I read here uh, it's been a week or two ago now uh, I think it's very helpful connect before you correct connect before you correct and then a final a final thought I had is I was thinking about this this uh, passage and especially Paul's thought on on the authority that the Lord had given him is to use whatever platform Jesus has given you to build others up in the faith and not just to win an argument or make a point or or prove your own own righteousness um, so here's the question of the day for us from Paul's words how is my interaction with the world helping me share the good news about Jesus with them that's the question. How is my response to what I see of the brokenness that's in this world, how is that helping me be able to faithfully and effectively share the good news 
about Jesus with them. Let me pray for us today. Father, uh, we uh, we look at, at all that's going on around us and we're so, so grateful. We take such great comfort and encouragement from knowing that you are at work in everything that's going on in this world and that nothing, nothing surprises you and nothing is outside your control and um, and that you've given us the opportunity and privilege in these days to represent you in your creation and so my prayer for us is that you would give us the wisdom and and the strength and the discernment to be able to do that in ways that really do bring honor and glory to you and that you can you are pleased to use to make a difference, an eternal difference, in the lives of others. And, and that would be my prayer for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we had a great day uh, Sunday <clears throat> hearing about some of the ways that God is working through our church family to reach out and share the good news about Jesus. And I, I really do uh, hope and pray that you are finding your God's something else uh, in these days. And that's my prayer for you uh, this week. So until we get opportunity to gather again, let me encourage you to stay faithful to Jesus regardless. <laughs>